The Department of Education has taken TechVoc Basic and C2 on their K-12 PLE program for two years, whose main objective is to produce job-ready graduates. DepEd's Technical Vocational Livelihood Track teachers and trainers are not industry expert practitioners. They are products of general academic and short skills training. These teachers have no appropriate or relevant and adequate industry exposure or working experience. It is a waste of time for the senior high school students who have to endure two years, whereas they could already use said two years for a particular TVET industry specialization on a specific and restrictive field of occupation using applied subjects in entrepreneurship and humanities to become job ready and entrepreneur ready. Separate TechVoc program from K-12 and professionalized technical vocational education and training services oriented tracks for global competitiveness. Let us learn from the Filipino seafarers found by international employers with serious flaws in training implemented by our country. Education and training skills fail to comply with international maritime education and training standards, including certification systems. TechVoc groups wanted to abolish or remove TechVoc education and training or Technical Vocational Education and Training, in short, TVET, from the K-12 in senior high school. The TechVoc practitioners clamored to retain the junior high school and therefore professionalize TechVoc education to encourage students to enroll in TechVoc courses. Technical Vocational Institutions, or TVI's, proposal is to reshape the TVET program and curriculum. They propose the professionalization and licensing of TechVoc tracks. These are the professional and the livelihood tracks. Furthermore, uplift the status of TESTA or tech technical vocational graduate by securing a license to become a professional. Mr. Tony Galvez, president and owner of the Tony Galvez School of Cosmetology, a member and officer of the Technical Vocational Schools and Associations of the Philippines District, NCR and National, and a member of the Philippine Chamber of Commerce and Industry, Quezon City, reiterates that there should be a dedicated agency to handle the tech box chance and remove it from senior high school or the K-12. For a seamless design and implementation of the TechVoc curriculum, let the experts in the field of TechVoc do the teaching. TechVoc should be under higher educational institutes, separate from DepEd and CHED. Even the government-run TESTA needs to calibrate its program in tune with the global demands and high-quality training education. TESTA could no longer deliver its mandate. Our government needs to overhaul TESTA, overhaul the education system. Moreover, for TechVoc to produce globally competitive professionals, its assigned agency and technical vocational institutes should be provided with facilities at par with global standards and faculty members or instructors in place. TechVoc teachers are qualified and experts in the field with a level of mastery and that it can produce quality output. With K-12 Senior High School, TechVoc strands or Technical Vocational Livelihood Education are being taught by teachers without prior knowledge in the field. They rely on their assigned modules approved by DepEd. They teach only the basic principle and general views. Most of the instructors or teachers went under trained by the trainer's workshop or training methodology. After several sessions, they are deployed as TechVoc instructors 
assigned by DepEd or by the school management. <clears throat> My accounting nga, di naman CPA or Certified Public Accountant ang magtuturo. E basic knowledge ang itinuturo niya, maraming mali. Ano mangyayari? Revamp the K-12 at tanggalin ang TechVox sa DepEd. Hindi solusyon ang pag-abolish sa K-12. Bagkus, paigtingin ang kalidad ng turo. Walang kahihinatnan ang TechVox sa K-12. Walang akmang teacher, walang pasilidad, walang advanced level of teaching. Ang mga graduates ng TechVox sa K-12 or kahit sa TESTA ay panay NC2 lang ang natapos. Ano ang ibig sabihin nito? NC2 ayon sa Philippine Qualifications Framework at base sa guidelines ng Philippine Chamber of Commerce and Industry. NC2 equivalency is a novice only. The TechVox strands should include NC3 to NC4 to complete the global competitive standards. Why is this important? If you're a holder of an NC2 training certificate, employers here will not hire you. You lack the skills and training. And when you decide to apply for a job overseas, NC2 is a novice, not even considered a basic training. They will not hire you based on the training skills you have received from K-12 or TESTA because it does not follow global standards. You need to gain further studies to attain NC3 and NC4 level of competencies. Watch our next TechVoc episode. Bakit pang bobo ang TechVoc? Ibig ba sabihin na ang mga teachers at trainers ay bobo din?